things started. Pete's here. They flushed us out. We're on the move. Lost a third of my men, but we're hitting them ten to one. It's still too many. I'll try to rally the men, hold the enemy off as long as I can. Pierce out.
My lord, the enemy is regrouping. I'm down to three men against about 300. Hope we could take out a whole battalion, but it looks like we'll come up short. When you see him, tell Durant. My lord, I spent all my ammunition and I'm down to my last med pack. But Durant's battalion is down. So is the rest of my unit. Never seen men stare death in the face and fight more bravely. They did their job. Now the enemy is mine. General Durant and his guards have retreated inside the compound. Proud I ushered you to the doorstep. General Durant, I've come for you. I'm not hiding anymore, Sith. We delayed you long enough to achieve success. We've stabilized the sea and tide cells. Now, the Republic has a new power source that gives us the advantage in this war. I'm just here to take you out, Durant. General Frelka and General Mint's sacrifices won't be in vain. This blaster is the prototype, powered by the smallest sea and tide battery. You're about to see just how lethal it is. Everyone, attack. <laughs> I'm in a medevac transport. Arriving back at base. Needed to tap you. Darth Barris has made contact. I updated him. I have him and Moff Hurden on hollow for you. Patch them through immediately. Will do. Apprentice, your progress has been conveyed to me, and I've been briefed on the search for General Ferrer. Moff Hurden informs me that Ferrer has relocated all of the Republic's forces on Terrace to protect his command center at the Republic's stronghold. We have his attention, and he's worried. A frightened enemy can be the most dangerous. This assault will take all our firepower. I've summoned your crew to the base. They will all be utilized. And I've informed Moff Hurden that you are commandeering the entirety of his forces. 
Yes, right. They are yours to command, my lord. I have longed to lead an army. You will now sink your teeth into full-scale war. Rendezvous with Hurden, Pierce, and your crew at the Imperial base. There is much planning to do. Be swift. Recording started. I am here. Let the war begin. Yes, time is of the essence. Lieutenant Pierce, Captain Quinn, bring my apprentice up to speed on our enemy's activity. Yes, my lord. It's a fairly complex situation. General Ferrer, the War Trust's most senior member, is garrisoned in a fortified wing of the Republic's main base. He's got a huge army protecting him. More reinforcements on the way. We're outnumbered eight to one. My lord, the lieutenant's statistics are inexact, but the general thrust is sound. The numbers favor Ferrer, but there are ways around that. If you have a plan, let's hear it. Now, to maximize our chances, we must coordinate three simultaneous strikes. One will destroy the base's power station, another will sabotage its spaceport force field to thwart any reinforcements, and the last will force the conscripted regiments of Ferrer's army to flee. That sounds simple enough. Quinn will coordinate from the base, and you will lead the frontline offensive. Beyond that, decide how to assign your men. Goodbye. I'm the best choice for frontline work. You need a soldier. I disagree. If the frontal assault isn't handled correctly, your route into the command center will be clogged with run-over battlefield soldiers. In my opinion, Jaser should join you. She can use her power to see into the hearts of the enemy and identify the insecure ranks. I want Jace's insights on the battlefield. Very good, my lord. That leaves Pierce and Vett to handle the power station demolition and the spaceport sabotage. If the traps and mines that protect the power station aren't circumvented in time, you'll be under constant turret fire inside the Republic base. Vett, clear the way so the power station can be destroyed. Child play. Unless Pierce can lock the spaceport force field in time, you'll face Ferrer's reinforcements inside the base. Don't worry about me, Captain. Assaults have been assigned, my lord. Once you've cleared the way on the front, invade General Ferrer's command center at will. Let's get this war started. My lord, any final words for the troops? Today, we fight as one. I believe in every one of you. Join me in victory. If that doesn't inspire, nothing will. Good luck, my lord. I'll be coordinating the attacks via Hollow. Don't worry, Captain. The real soldiers have got this one. Recording started.
All alert. The enemy is sighted. <laughs> Sith, you are massively outnumbered. You will not invade General Ferrer's headquarters. Turn away at once. Jaser, use your power and scan Ferrer's forces for the weak link. My pleasure, Master. Most of these dogs are brimming with strength and conviction. I sense hate and willingness to die for the Republic. Ah, uh, not so fast. There. An entire column of soldiers who are forced to be here. They will definitely run if singled out. Keep the other forces at bay while I terrorize the conscripts. Conscripted scum. We still have numbers. All attack. My lord, I have updates from the other fronts. I'm pleased to report that the Republic power station has been destroyed. Vet went through their traps like they were infant toys. From her report, I doubt anyone else could have achieved it. You were right in assigning her to strike the power station. She knew the consequences for failure. Knowing her capabilities better will aid me in future calculations. With the base security systems down, you'll endure no automatic turret fire on our way to Ferrer's command center. On the other front, Lieutenant Pierce was able to sabotage and lock the Republic spaceport force field controls. I knew he was the man for the job. Yes, it seems under that insubordinate exterior lies a very capable soldier. Now, when Ferrer's reinforcements land inside the base, they'll be trapped behind the force field and unable to join the fight. Still, the General's elite guard clogs the way to the command center. They are quite formidable. There's nothing I can't handle. I have great faith in that. There's no time to lose, my lord. Ferrer's command center awaits. Good luck. Time for you to join the rest of the War Trust, Ferrer. Quite the contrary. After you took down my fellows, I knew my only chance was to delay you. And my gambit has paid off. I bought enough time for my technicians to solve how to stabilize Seantide cells of any kind. The future is upon us, Sith, and you have the privilege of bearing witness. <laughs> Enemy sighted. Weapon systems targeted and locked. All this posturing is unnecessary. Until now, it's been the Empire that enjoyed flexing its muscles. 
With this new power source, it's our turn. Sea and Tide technology increases the strength of whatever it powers tenfold. The Republic fleet and arsenal will make your weapons obsolete. The Empire will have no choice but to surrender, which you should do now. How about I attack instead? Engaging all weapons. beaten, General. I can't believe it. All this work. All this death. For naught. I wish I could sit around and discuss where I went wrong. But a good leader always has an exit strategy. Not so fast, General. I thought you might try to run. This is the end for you, Ferrer. I surrender. I expect to be afforded the treatment promised to prisoners in the Treaty of Coruscant. You will be treated however Darth Barris wishes. Yes, well, I will gladly take the General into custody. Congratulations on the success of your mission. Taking down the War Trust is an incredible victory. It is clear you are the future of the Empire, and I hope you will count me among your closest allies. Feeling is mutual, Hurton. As a show of support, I place Lieutenant Pierce under your command. He will be invaluable in your domination of the galaxy. Works for me. Done what I can here on Taris. Glad you're willing to let me go, Hurden. You're meant for greater things, Lieutenant. With me, you will fulfill your destiny. You won't be disappointed. Lieutenant Fallin, I will brief you on how things work here when we are back on the ship. Can't wait. Recording started. Apprentice, the War Trust dismantling has been your finest hour, but a new challenge arises. One of our missing targets, Admiral Monk, has revealed himself. As you may recall, my master Darth Vengeance set off to conquer the fringe systems and inspire the Dark Council to reignite the war. Somehow, Admiral Monk caught wind of the plan and was waiting in ambush. He is laying siege to the flagship as we speak. I'll stop the siege, Master. That is an excellent idea. Plan Zero calls for Admiral Monk's head. This may be our only opportunity to crush him. Our flagship is commanded by Moff Maskin. Fly to the space battle immediately. Board his ship and stop Admiral Monk's siege. <laughs> 